discovered that lightning is electricity and he helped the United States. Who was that person? Benjamin Strategies for Benjamin critical Benjamin and creative Benjamin thinking Benjamin is about They're teaching up to extend the learning process for every learner in every content area. But can you hear someone say, shouldn't all classroom activities incorporate critical and creative thinking? Absolutely. But sometimes, due to time, understanding how to infuse higher level thinking skills or a mindset about whether students are ready to go to a higher level, lessons center more around direct instruction memorization, and multiple choice assessments. But we know that if we don't provide instruction and practice for all students for these 21st century skills, we're putting them at a disadvantage in the meaning they're making of their current content, in their skills for future learning, and in their habits and skills they'll need to contribute to evolving workplace demands. Let's get started. It's an opportunity to see critical and creative learning strategies in action. Sing it without me. Okay, let's hear it. Consumers be producers. Welcome to Sassy Shoes. So today, you all are going to get to be a producer. Where first graders apply their understanding of economics while developing tools for the creative process. Ability, which is stretching your thinking. Using the critical and creative strategy of fluency, originality, flexibility, and elaboration. Students practice an important concept, innovation. It can make a rainbow. Think about what these students are accomplishing. Acquiring knowledge of buyers and sellers. Identifying the significance of design and diversity. Collaborating in pairs and creating as an individual. Here's a tip. When using fluency, originality, flexibility, and elaboration, be sure that students understand the importance of not judging ideas of others or their own in the process. Refinement can come later, but in order to feel safe to take risks, all ideas should be shared without approval or disapproval. You'll be surprised what connections can stem from this. Next stop on the critical and creative thinking trail, POV, or point of view. Usually with points of view, you put yourself in another person's place. In time, Crystal Trammell will ask her students to develop written documents, such as speeches, invitations, and letters. Students will imagine themselves as participants of the American Revolution. This point of view strategy is enhanced through another teaching tool called RAFT. Are you King George? Are you going to be Benjamin Franklin? Are you going to be Phyllis Wheatley? Are you going to RAFT is an acronym. R stands for role. A is for audience. F is for format. And T is for topic. Who's the one mainly attacking? Who's the one getting hurt a lot? I think it through was discussion, awareness. small group interaction, and class projects, students are able to examine issues from multiple perspectives. Like you can, somebody can tell the story how it happened, and the other person can tell like the uh, his side of the story. Learning point of view broadens students' understanding and flexibility in problem solving. Fifteen seconds to share. Who do you think drew the picture, and why? Exploring alternative perspectives provides opportunities for receptive, open thinking, and empathy, all of which are critical in our multicultural and complex world. Here's another tip. In a debate or discussion, require students to speak or argue a point of view opposite of their actual opinion. Great job. Give yourselves a pat on the back, please. You could see it. At Crestwood Elementary, first graders are picturing adventure. Prompted by their teacher, students are thinking about the answer to these questions. Where shall I travel? What should I pack? What will the weather be like? This travel adventure lesson emphasizes climate, weather, and geography. We're going to need you to take that movie from your head and put it down on paper. I By utilizing the strategy of visualization, teacher Melissa Perfurio gives students an opportunity to think beyond these important concepts. Where is it located? 
What's the season like? At least 65% of learners describe themselves as visual learners. The visualization strategy opens up student thinking by stimulating imagination. Visualization, commonly used as a reading strategy, can be applied easily to other content areas. If you get to Texas and you go north, you go to Kansas. It increases the depth of comprehension and is a powerful tool for goal setting and planning. You won't need any pants? Just the, it's pretty hot. It's pretty hot? Okay, well, your brochure definitely helped me get ready for Honduras. When using the strategy of visualization, talk to students about how athletes and performers picture their success, and that the same can be done for goal setting in school. Picturing steps and obstacles a student might encounter in working towards their goals builds resiliency and increases the likelihood of meeting goals. Research shows visualization to have an even higher impact for at-risk students. Picture in your minds again what you think you might see if you go to Rio. Few things in life are just positive or negative. What one person might view as awesome might muster dread from another. We've come a long way from ancient cultures and civilizations, and that progress has both positive and negative implications. At best, someone might conclude, well, it could be just interesting. You're going to have to decide. You know about Egypt. Think of something that's a plus about Egypt. PMI which stands Not for plus, intense. minus, is and interesting. Minus Helps students get away from black and white thinking that things are good or bad. PMI helps students realize that in many things, there is both good and bad, as well as just neutral or interesting. It's useful in connection to the strategies of decision-making, as well as to point of view. Why would that be a plus for you? As students work alone and in groups, Teachers Katie Mashera and Brianna Anderson use PMI as a way to personalize social studies instruction. And at the magic word, pickle, students are prepared to discuss the plus, minus, and interesting of living in ancient China and ancient Egypt. For most students, China would be the place to live. Uh, because it has four seasons, the four seasons, like when... PMI develops independent thinkers who consider a range of ideas or possibilities and see beyond the obvious. It moves students beyond yes or no, right or wrong, my answer or your answer. Another tip, pair the strategy of PMI with the strategy of fluency, flexibility, originality, to encourage students to stretch and record as many ideas for each category as they can. That PMI would help me decide. When else could you use PMI, Audrey? Like when you're playing a sport. Okay. Five different steps. Five different steps. In five letters. Can you give clear directions? Okay. To know what you're In writing. math and English? You can't assume he knows anything. So don't skip any steps. The, the process of encapsulation requires students to synthesize information and consider their communication carefully. Let's work out the problem and then we, we should see like how, he, how we should do it. She took up an entire piece of paper to tell Ben these steps. Her final product was only three lines. Students they seek to capture the essence of a topic or concept through an image, a phrase, or You're other concise or communication tools. I'm the teacher. You're the teacher. <laughs> You're going to teach him how to At do At every this juncture, over text students determine how to communicate their thinking about solving a math problem, how to reduce that information to its simplest form, and ultimately to convey information you? as a helpful no. text message. So treat this just the. the. Do we need the word the? No. No, because you were still able to understand what I was telling you, right? Encapsulation is great for the brain, but it's also fun to look for examples of it in real life and analyze messages that the media chooses to convey. When you first start teaching encapsulation, you may want to look at real-world examples of encapsulation in action, on vanity license plates, in slogans for companies, or taglines for movie trailers. 
or in social media status updates. That is that everybody knows means multiply. Like how write a multiplication problem here? How would I write a multiplication problem? Like you did that aha moment. So what can you use from this problem instead of that big word? Which is stretching your thinking. From one teacher to another, using critical and creative thinking strategies is about engaging students, deepening understanding, taking risks, and embracing the fact that everyone can become a critical and creative thinker.